Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our Great Indian Game series and our Crazy Leela series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and this is actually going to be a little um, series within a series really. It's um, a Queen Odds game as you can see and uh, well there seems to be a challenge developing between um, very strong bullet players to see how well they can beat Leela um, with Queen Odds on a straight bullet one minute time control no increment now um uh, apparently uh um uh, one of the viewers uh, a friend on twitter as well set his friends the challenge that they could have one of his chessable courses if they managed to uh, have a, a series of 10 games at that time uh, frame beating leela and one of them managed with five and a half four and a half uh, which is pretty incredible but a lot of players are trying, 2,700, 2,800, even some 3,000 plus players uh, are, are trying. And in general, the results are, um, are not great. The games are fantastic, but um, I'm in awe of the uh, speed of the players. But Leela is just proving so tricky. It's unbelievable. So some great games to show you. This is uh, a first one played against a 2,700 uh, bullet player at the 1.0 time control. So D4, C5, D5, D6 h4 also an interesting move against the uh the normal uh, schmid benoni um but um yeah quite uh, quite fun knight h3 and then black plays uh, f takes e4 principle not normally a, a very good line but of course you're a queen up so anything goes somehow i think the the one positive thing here is that you um you manage to uh, swap off a, a pair of minor pieces so after knight c3 a6 Bishop e2, b5, Leela plays a4, quite typically just to uh, to weaken the queen side there. b4, knight e4, queen d8. Um, yeah, I'm not that wowed with uh, with black's opening, I have to say, but okay, you're a queen up, so, uh, you know, uh, quite a lot of leeway, of course. But Leela doesn't never, just doesn't bother about being a queen down. Starts opening the center and uh, attacking. Black's king uh, runs and Leela just plays bishop e3 so yeah i mean white's got great development um and um really nice position the pawn on d5 is actually hanging you could take that one um i guess leela was going to do something like bishop f3 just be happy that the d file was opened and then hope to uh, to get a rook on the d file and uh, and off you go uh, black decided um just to play bishop d6 and uh just to block that off the exchange of uh, some more minor pieces but um, uh, black played, um, uh, white played castles rather. Yeah, I mean, something like bishop f5 looks the, the most natural, right? Just trying to um, uh, to develop, um, you know, force um, if um, white can take the pawn on c5, of course, um, which frankly to a human player feels a little bit uncomfortable. The engines don't really seem to uh, to worry about it. Um, you could also just play the move knight d7, looking for knight f6, trying to exchange off some pieces. That would also be sensible. Uh, black played king b6, just uh, getting out of the way. And Leela just spied an opportunity to add, to just to up the danger factor and played the move a5 check. I mean, you could go back with the king, but um, you feel a little bit restricted there somehow. So black took the pawn on a5, actually nothing wrong with it. But now the clever move uh, c3 and the idea is yeah the black king isn't getting back there because after c takes b4 we'll have b takes c5 after that's starting to get rather uncomfortable somehow so i mean again this is still minus six so still very very good for um uh, for black you know totally winning um only the king isn't getting back quickly so you're going to have to survive in a bullet one minute game with your king rather close to leela and uh, well obviously the closer you are you know the easier it is for the pieces to do some stuff so it, it's quite a fraught moment uh, there somehow so b takes c3 was maybe quite sensible um black played the move bishop f5 sensible to develop c takes b4 check and now um yeah again not a bad move from black objectively but probably upping the danger again um king takes b4 was the best line uh, and then trying to scurry back keeping this pawn as a as a barrier as much as you can not easy but you know um it um it would be a little bit better and you've got a bit of pressure against this knight at least um black played c takes b4 which is kind of more natural you know keep the king uh, out of the way um and then Leela played king b2 and uh 
yeah, all of a sudden, without you really realizing it, um, you know, the king isn't able to get back to b6 because the bishop's cutting it off and there's danger along the a file. Somehow, you know, um, I've mentioned this, mentioned this uh, um, was part of a chapter in the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement that when you castle the space to the side of the king, you know, to the left on the queen side or to the right on the uh, king side, um, humans often see that just as dead space, basically. But, um, you know, the number of games you saw Leela or Alpha Zero, you know, castling kingside and then playing King G2 and getting the rook active on uh, H1. It's an absolutely classic uh, uh, Alpha Zero game in Game Changer as well. Um, you know, that really happens a lot. And uh, here it's the king, it's the queen side with Leela going King D2 and the rook getting to A1. Now, the only way that black could possibly have survived is to play b3 to give the king some air on b4. But yeah, I mean, obviously, this is really worrying, right? I mean, we play knight c3, king b4, rook a1, threatening rook a4, checkmate. You've got to go queen d7. We can throw in bishop b6 with uh, some ideas of bishop a5. Uh, black goes a5. I mean, black surviving, right? But I mean... Stuff could happen, you know. I mean, uh, it wouldn't be surprising if uh, if something went wrong in the, in the black position. Yeah, black um, um, probably still on uh, forty seconds or something. I mean, these you know these players they could probably make a hundred moves in uh, in one minute somehow. It's just incredible. But uh, he took on e four, and that amazingly allows force mate rook a one check, king b five, bishop b two, bishop d three, and takes checkmate. Really uh, glorious game. As I said, you know, this is uh, the human player setting themselves uh, an absolutely massive challenge. Um, but the games are quite just incredibly fun somehow. I've got quite a few of those. So uh, we'll just dip into those from time to time because I think it's really, really fun. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed this very quick video and hope to see you at the next ones. Thanks for watching.